Hello boys, thanks for tuning in. So I have something to show you today. It's the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro. I was asked by XPen to review their product and I was very happy to work with them. You can see me unboxing the whole thing here. I really like their packaging, it's very sleek honestly. Next to the tablet itself, you of course get the right cables and a pen, but you also get a pen holder, eight pen nips, and a cleaning cloth, and even one of those drying gloves. Um, this tablet sells for $380, which is a very fair price for this kind of display tablet, honestly. So these are all the things you get one more time. They also included a quick guide to set it up, but I didn't really need it since it was very easy to do. However, I was pretty disappointed by their HMDI cable. So I do, this is the HDMI cable, but it's really short. And my computer is over there, so I probably have to change up my setup for this. So that's a bit disappointing, honestly. Like my my HDMI cable has to go in here, and it's so short. It's really short. Now I'm able to just like move this, so it's it's it is possible for me, but maybe not for everyone. So, I changed my setup a bit, and here we go! I installed the driver on their side, very easy to find. And... Uh, I kept getting this message, and I didn't know what I did wrong. So, I went to the XP Pen Tech support, and I got a message back right away. And they asked me if I could send a photo of my cables. And turns out I'm an idiot. I plugged it in wrong. So the red USB cable needs to go in the power source and I put it in my laptop. It was written on it with very big letters so it's I, it was just me being really stupid. But I did got to experience their tech support which was great. It was really nice tech support, really fast. So if you're not an idiot like me and plugged everything in correctly, the tablet should work right away after installing. It worked for me but I always use paint tool Psy. And any user of Psy knows that it can be a little tricky with other tablets. Either the pressure didn't work, or the pen and brush were out of sync. If you experience the same problems, here's how to make your XP pen tablet work properly with your paint tool Psy. First of all, always have Windows ink marked. If you're using Windows, of course, but paint tool Psy is only for Windows, so. Then code. Go to your paint tool side properties. I apologize for the language, by the way. My computer's in Dutch, so my translations may not directly mirror the actual menus, but I provided screenshots so you at least could see where to click. Go to the compatibility tab and click on this button here. It should say something about D DPI. Then copy these options. First should be Windows 8, and the third option should be marked, or the first available option. This made my side properly work again. And now on to the actual drawing. Like I mentioned before, they give you a stand, but I used a different stand here, so it was easier to record. However, the stand is great. It's really sturdy, so it's... it's I probably am going to use it for myself, uh, for personal... Uh, drawings or something. Uh, I'm just going to draw a basic headshot today, nothing too special. At first I had to adjust to the tablet a little bit, but that was mainly because I was used to something else. And the first thing that I noticed is the amazing screen quality. The colors are amazing and very vibrant. Like the name suggests, the screen is 56 inch. So, pretty big for a display tablet, at least for this price. And I enjoy the size a lot. It's not too big, but still very nice, and it's a nice big canvas to work with. The pen is great. 
it's battery free, but I think a lot of tablet pens are that. Like I said before, it comes with eight nips. However, from experience, I know that the nips for display tablets go a long way. So it, you, you have plenty. It's probably because of the surface of the display, I guess. This one is really nice. You can easily glide with your pen, but it's not slippery or something. Uh, it also has great pen pressure. Uh, the side says it has 8192 levels of pen pressure. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's it basically uh, means it can sense the pressure better. So it's easier to make thin strokes or thick strokes without adjusting your brush size. You can just press harder. Uh, it's very handy for the whole painting progress, honestly. You may see me using the shortcuts a bit in the footage. One I always use is, of course, the undo button. I think everyone uses that when they draw. Um, you can go into the settings of the pen and adjust them uh, to your liking. There are eight buttons in total, so go wild. Uh, I do wish they would be a little closer to each other, but maybe that's just me. You can see it in the footage. There's a roller wheel, like your red one. Uh, so you can roll it, of course. Um, I mainly use it for zooming in. It's actually very handy. I uh, didn't have it on other display tablets uh, that I used before this one. It's a nice feature, honestly. Some parts are slow, slower than the other parts. Um, like the part of me drawing the eyes is real life. Uh, that way you can see a bit better what I meant when I talk about the nice surface of the display and the colors. Though my camera is not the best, <laughs> I don't. It's better in real life, believe me. It's really better. As always, my brush settings are in the description as well as links to my social media. And if you want to support me and my channel, there's a link to my Patreon as well. And I'm also creating a visual novel. The link to that is also findable in the description. Overall, I'm pretty positive about this tablet. It's amazing colors, nice display size, and the price is very affordable compared to the quality you get back. My only two down points are the short HDMI cable and the shortcuts could be a little closer to each other, like the buttons on the uh, left side. As someone who uses them a lot, I would have liked them to be easier accessible. I give this tablet 5 out of 4 stars. Five out of four stars. Jesus. I give this tablet four out of five stars due to the price and the quality. It's a really good tablet to start out with. We want to look into display tablets, that is. I leave a link to the official XP pen store in the description. They can read more about the tablet as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope to get back with another video thingy. Probably just a speed paint. <laughs> uh... Bye.